Hello, friends. Bear with me as I write and pin what we are doing today. I'll just take just a few minutes. Bear with me, you guys. I'm just pinning what we are doing. If you're just hopping on, it always just takes a minute. Pin. Hey guys, Elise here, Global Beauty Director for Too Faced, and I am so excited. You guys, happy Friday. We have a really special guest plan for you today. She is an incredible celebrity makeup artist. She is known for doing this beautiful, glowy skin. She also is an incredible hairstylist as well, and she's one of my dear friends of many years. We've worked together for a long time, so let me add my dear friend, Emma Willis. coming through right now. It's just waiting to connect. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, I, I just want all of our followers to know, like, we have known each other for so many years. You've taught me so many incredible tricks along oh my, the way. I and love I, you. I, I love, love you, you. girl. I'm How are you so doing? It's for, Friday! I know. Like, Friday means anything to anyone anymore, but you know what? Like, we're just going to celebrate, and that's what this is all about. This is just taking time to not think about anything serious and exactly. with makeup. Exactly, exactly. Oh, my God. How are you doing? I love that you have one side of your face done, and both sides of your face are so beautiful, you wouldn't even know. Unless I pointed it out, it's like... Well, you you know me. I like I like the glowy look, but I also like the kind of like subtle, not too not too heavy, not too crazy. So like yeah, if you if any one of you guys can I'm just finishing off doing my little trick here that I use with this um with the uh um, hangover I'm, spray. Yeah, a hangover spray. I spritz the brush. I'm gonna i I'm gonna do this side of the face though for you guys on the, and then I literally dab it into the turn up your light, this one here. Oh, I love that. The last one here, so it's wet and then like I ping it on look at that oh my gosh that is so beautiful I always laugh at this because I'm like I was born without a collarbone like <laughs> I have no collarbone so we, was, we, was talking, we was talking yesterday and she was like I would kill for your collarbone Emma I would it's so pretty oh well so thank I'm just you very much mom I'm just so like yeah, I'm just finishing off, like, giving this, this this whole bit of my face a glow. And then, uh, yeah, I thought, do you like my glittery jacket today? I love it. You're so sparkly. This is the most, this is the most glam I've got in the whole of quarantine. <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate that because we love a little glam. And there's, yeah. okay, like, getting dressed up just makes your soul feel a little bit better. Like I just... feel really good now today. I might even do like a, I might even do like a hair tutorial afterwards. <laughs> Please do. We want to follow along. <laughs> um, so should we get going on some of this on this side of the face? As yes. you can see, guys, I've done this side. Um, Ooh, so and I'm going to show you um, the Born This Way foundation. It's one of my must-haves. I have it in my kit. I use it on so many of my celebrity clients. Um, but on my eyes today, I've used uh, this palette. By the way, yes, it's amazing. Are our Born This Way palette, I have it on my eyes as well. I've been using it every single day. It's just, you can use it on any skin tone. So many different looks you can create. Oh my God. And I love the fact that you can just use a few colors and like get like an overall look. Um, the last time I used this was just before like lockdown. I was in New York on one of my brides and I used kind of like this end of the palette. Oh, I with love a, with it. A little, with, a little, with a little bit of the truffle, but like this mainly this end. Yeah, so mostly like the light. Do you like to, when you're doing someone's eyes, do you really like to start light first? Or do you like, for well, a Well, ge generally what I'll show you, because I use the maple in my sockets to like, uh, to, to give like contour. Um, but I'll, I'll generally kind of buff in with either a bronzer or like, for instance, maple I've used. I've only used like really, because the thing is with, with people like not knowing exactly how to um, manipulate colors as well like for instance the maple um if you kind of diffuse that and buff out which i'll show you on this like i'll show you on this side um if you press that in and have the, 
the pigment in the brush um, in, in certain areas and press it in certain areas, you can get a deeper color in that area than you can do if you diffuse it out. So you can use it like to kind of contour a little bit, but also, because if not, I'll use like, you know, the, um, the bronzers to like to contour. Yes. And well. do you, if you're doing someone's makeup, do you do their eyes first or do you do skin first? Always skin. Okay, Always. I I'm love just like that. a skin freak, so like skincare, and then I'll do like going with foundations and like concealer and and um, one of like I'm gonna just like get going now here. Um, and I'm using honey by the way today because um, okay. I want my skin to be like you know a little bit bronzed and warm. I love um, do, do and like I, and I've got, I sorry, would you say Elise? I was just gonna ask you, do you usually go a little bit deeper than someone's skin tone just to give them a bronze like right off the bat? Yes, generally. Depending on, obviously, if they're, like, porcelain and gorgeous yeah. and, like, you know, pale. Um, depending on the sort of, like, or, and the look that, that, you know, we're wanting to go for. Um, but I'll generally kind of, like, warm the skin um, from the very beginning. Um, and then what you'll, you'll find with me as well, I re very rarely use powders in the terms of, like, setting powders. Um, so Love that. You know, I've known you for so many years, and you've never used powders. And it's like amazing how you get makeup to stay and look so glowy and beautiful and you don't even set it. Like I, I, I feel that. like it's like in terms of like for me, it's like the light, the many like light layerings of, of the makeup. And then people sometimes like forget, like when you go in with, you know, the blushes and the bronzers and the things like that, you're, they're powders, right? So people kind of forget that like, in which I'll show you here, like these areas here, that I've, that's like a powder. So you don't really need to, unless you, I mean, you're, I'm going to go in um, with a little bit of, uh, and I'm going to use the turn up the light, the diffusing middle ones to, to kind of like set um, a little bit in certain areas that I don't want it too like overly shiny or glowy. But people forget like the, the powders that you go in with like the blushes and the bronzers, if you do use powders of those, um, you're kind of like setting the makeup already, if you see what I mean. So how, how do you like, so the problem that I've always had and why I'm like the opposite of you and that's why I love this collaboration because everybody can like pick, pick what works for them is that like, how do you get the blush to blend without sticking when your foundation is wet? Do you just Basically, use really light hand? Well, no, cause like, so leave the, don't, don't overdo the skincare first of all. Okay. Um, Leave it for a second to settle because uh, most foundations, you know, will kind of like dry and settle into the skin like any makeup will do. Um, and then like it's kind of like the buffing techniques because like unless you're unless you've got extremely oily skin, if you have got extremely oily skin, then I will say like, you know, do like a primer beforehand. Um, this one's great for like extremely oily skin as well around the sort of like the sort of T-zone area and like around here. Um, and then just like slowly apply with a buffing, um, uh, with a buffing motion. And so I, I'll show you afterwards. So, um, so you're not kind of like taking off the actual foundation that you've put on, if you see what I mean. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love, I love that you're using our foundation brush as well. So that's actually our powder foundation brush, but I love it. I love it. It's like instantly your face is done. It's like it, a magic eraser. Like, look at this. It's so pretty. And you barely used any foundation. Yeah, that's, that's the thing as well. It's kind of like with this side as well, it like, I, yeah, it's full on glam. To me, this is like really full on glam. But I've not even like, sometimes I'll go in with truffle along the lash line to give like more of like a liner. Um, but today I haven't done. So it's kind of like, you know, it's for people that haven't got like that much like time or also like they don't wear that much makeup. Yeah. Like, to me, this is like a lot for me, you know? Yeah. Um, and then again, a lot of my clients, you know, will do full on glam, but it's still that kind of like what I class as a natural glam. Okay, so I'm mixing the chocolate gold and the matte chocolate. Ooh, okay. So that was that's the, that's the original milk chocolate soleil. Yeah, and I'm and I'm using this as like a contour, but I'm because I'm mixing in the chocolate gold as well. The chocolate gold has got like the shimmery bronze that like more of a like a bronzer to it, and um, like shimmery to it which I love because it's not like a complete flat, flat, like so pretty. And I love that you're using the brush that has probably a little bit of foundation left on it. 
So it's like yeah, you... that's another thing I was gonna say, like guys and girls out there. Like some people, I'm doing this also for people that like because I get a lot of questions myself. People that aren't kind of makeup artists mm -hmm. and they don't really know what to buy or what to purchase. And I'm all for one of being like use minimal stuff for the maximum effect, and you can still get away with like. And also, guys, don't forget your ears. I love that. That's a tricky ears are a big many thing. Years ago, huh? I said, that's a trick you taught me many years ago when we were doing red carpet, because you were like, if they, someone gets their picture taken and their whole face is done, and then your ears are like pink or like, you know, not the same color, it makes oh my God. Yeah. Especially for brides. Oh my, a hundred percent. And then all the way down the neckline as well, you want to kind of like, you know, create that kind of illusion of like thinning out the neck. So take it along the jawbone, but also like down the, down the length where the ear is down here to sort of make sure you warm. Always bring it down the neck as well so pretty i remember years ago when we were doing a do you remember when we did that wedding and the poor bride had like fallen the day before <gasps> oh my gosh like, i was that was when i was like how is she gonna she you like pulled out that was like your super bowl that day because she had she came in face. with like this bit like swollen lip yes she could have yeah. like cracked it open yeah, and you literally made it look, you were like, it's okay, we'll just make the other side of your lip bigger. <laughs> and then she ended up with like, like a really kind of gorgeous like pout on her yeah. face. Beautiful, you guys, it was like, it was like the thing that you see in the movies, like the, the most beautiful bride. And she it was a little bit of special up. effects I had to do that day for sure. Yes. Um, oh, by the way, this multi, yeah, the multi-use uh, concealer, I'll sometimes use this on my clients as actual foundation. Um, oh, I so love I'm, that. oh my god yeah love this stuff especially if someone's got like amazing skin the and warm you travel with it because it's like tsa the size and they're like, like tiny yeah the warm beige it. warm beige vanilla and nude are like three of my favorites um uh three of my favorite colors um vanilla's great to like really pop that like under eye and any areas you want to kind of because sometimes that's what i'll do like today obviously i just use the honey on myself but a lot of my clients I'll use like two of the foundations, like golden and honey, like one around the circumference of the face yes. and then one like more in the middle, depending on, you know, like the, the, the look that we're going for. And if it's like, you know, for full coverage and things like that. And you have to use so little because that, that goes such a long way. Oh my God, I'm going to show you now. So yeah, I'm going to go in here and I take it around all like the T-zone area. Love it. Just to pop that area. Yeah. And also around like the lip, like this, this lip area as well. It like It just gives it like a little pop. Hold on two secs. So pretty. Your skin is so glowy. I, that's what I love about the Born This Way foundation. It just like gives you that beautiful glow. It does. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like heavy or feel heavy. No, not at all. And like the, the, the great thing about this as well that I love is that you can like, and I love this brush as well to buff out. I love this one. Um, you can like, sometimes people get, get sort of like scared with like, it's like, you know, full, full coverage foundation. But if any of you like really don't like even too much like coverage, like I don't generally do this on myself all, all the time in terms of like full face makeup. I'll like drop a few drops of this into like my favorite moisturizer. Um, and then you're kind of giving yourself just that like tinted balm almost on the face. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. I love that. And I love the way that you're using our eyeshadow brush as a concealer. Oh, That's this is great. Process. And then, so what I'll do is I never actually use a primer per se for the eyes. I always use concealer. I always have. Um, so I buff in concealer like all over the eye as my primer before I use the eyeshadow. What is the best foundation to give you a dewy look and that lasts all day? That is what we are doing right now, Sierra. So yeah, born this way foundation, exactly. girl. Born this way. <laughs> you guys, I'm not. By the way, guys, um, uh, this is like I'm not being like this is uh, hand on my heart. Um, I use this in my professional pro kits. I'm not just saying that, like I, you know, and I've known Lee for a long time. Love Too Faced. Um, uh, but I've got so many of their products. Sun Bunny, I think I've used that on pretty much all of my clients as well. Um, the Natural Face um, Palette. I ran out of the peach one, so you guys have got to send that to me, the peach okay. one. Um, <laughs> we'll get that in the mail. Uh, but 
uh, I, yeah, so I, I want you guys to know as well, this isn't just like me just doing it just for the sake of this live, you know? This is yeah. like products and foundations, concealers, um, uh, everything that I love to use, like not only on myself, but in my pro kit. Oh my gosh, well, it looks so beautiful. Your work is so flawless. I love following you and seeing all the things that you, that you do. We did oh our- Oh my God, I love, I love being following you as well. <laughs> You're so sweet. Emma did the amazing makeup. She was the lead artist in the movie, The Love Witch, which is so fun. And you brought me into that and we had so much fun on set and you created the most glamorous looks. I love that you, in like your everyday celebrity makeup, you do this like glowing, but you really can do anything. And it's so fun to watch. Oh, thank you, Hunt. Yeah, that love witch was hilarious. <laughs> it was it was like, who knew what would come of that film as well? I know. I'm, just, I'm, based, I'm using the blush now from the Natural Face Palette. Okay. And did this you just tap here. it once? Like, because it's and I just tap it. Like, if I'm not using cream blushes, like, I'll tap the brush and I'll make sure, like, I get my clients to smile and I'll just tap it on top of the uh, apples of the cheeks and then I'll buff up and out. I love that. I and love that. I like tape it, tape, tape it onto the temple of the, you know, around the forehead um, as well. Um, and then uh, I like to do the eyes before I do the brow, or the majority of the eyes before I do the brows. Um, I'm just looking for my other brush here. Okay, Let's, so, so with this, um, we just asked, what is the best contour product? And Emma just contoured her face with our Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is amazing, and a little bit of Sun Bunny. Okay, so what shade are you going in with? Of the okay, so basically now I'm using maple. I love maple. It's that, like, warm, golden brown transition shade. It's gorgeous. And the thing about this is what I'm going to show you as well. Like, if you really buff it out you can create just like a soft diffuse look but then if you go in um uh now i'm going in like under the eye area but i'm kind of like i'm gonna buff i'm also pressing as well so already can you see the different color this is that's just that same mate that's this is maple so and it like, looks darker when you look press. it looks like two different colors like entirely two different colors so also, people that like, you know, don't also, you know, again, like I said, not necessarily know too much about product and like aren't artists, like play around with how you apply them and, um, you know, using less and more in certain areas and also the techniques like pressing it down and pressing the pigment into areas is going to keep the pigment of the color in that place and so it's going to appear darker in that area you know i love that we're getting questions about the brushes and emma's using our five piece mr right brush set so they're all cruelty free amazing brushes you guys have to check them out and it's all in one set they're really pretty i also love the fact they come with the little black bows i almost want to keep the black bows on them i kept I know. the black bows on them for a while and then i'm like okay they need to come off now um, hold on, let me read this. Uh, I suffer with really dry skin and recently bought Born This Way foundation and it's not sitting right. Any tips for application? So I would definitely use some hangover. Was that what you were gonna just say? Yeah, well, no, well, I was also gonna say it's dependent on what skincare they're putting on their face, first of all. Sometimes when I get those questions about um, uh, placement and you know the way um, foundation sits on the skin, invariably it's because they're either applying too much skincare, first of all, or it's a silicone base versus a water base mm -hmm. and, and certain things aren't gonna like oil versus water and all that type of stuff. Certain things aren't gonna mix right. So you're gonna get that peeling. You're gonna get like, you know, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's gonna peel off the skin basically. Yeah, um, you get like rolling. You always have to make sure that you're using water products with water base and you know, silicone base with silicone base. So now I'm just gonna use my finger and this is the rose gold. And I'm just going to tap that all over my eyelid. Yeah, so I love that you're using your fingers. I love using my fingers too. I feel like it brings out the metallic effect of the One, shadow. Oh my God, 100%. I just got a question about what lip gloss I'm wearing. And I am wearing our lip injection. This is the Bubblegum Yum. Bubblegum Yum is amazing, by the way. I found my Bubblegum Yum. Okay, okay good. I found my bubble gum yum. But I have to say, I, like, I, you not have this? You I love net worth and um, uh, you up. Oh, I love, I love it. They're so sparkly and pretty. Oh my God. Yeah. I put like, I put them on then again with them. Um, uh, I used a little bit of cool girl. 
so on, pretty. on this side and then like uh you up as well so hold on a second so i'm doing that and then i'm literally going to take a little bit of the a little bit of the rose gold again and i'm gonna like buff that just like into the center like as if like your think of your pupil and with the angle brush here i'm just gonna take that into the center of the eye and then a little bit onto the inner corners as well so pretty that i'm loving gives... your pink hair by the way elise the pink oh, thank you. the purpley pink i might i, I might dye my hair pink you should. Oh my gosh, please do. You know what? I just did this with a little bit of pink shampoo because obviously I haven't been in to see my hairstylist in months. I love it. It's just fun. I'm actually like embracing the rootage. I'm like, I'm okay with these roots. Oh my I God, I love roots. That's why I did I did it because I never had time before. And now obviously in this, this time, it's like perfect. Um, I'm going in with the shimmering pearl up here now. Okay. On, love top, it. on top of the rose gold in the inner corner just to kind of like pop it some more so pretty and, I and, then, I'm gonna take, and then i'm gonna take a little bit of the truffle i'm gonna take a little bit of the truffle and i'm gonna go just like on the outer corner with the smudge brush i love this one by the way me too it really gets into the tight little areas oh my I love how easy you make it look it's so easy it's like so flawless and easy to follow along like the thing with me is like also as well it's about kind of maybe just using a few products and you're still being able to create like a gorgeous kind of look um and it's and it shouldn't take like i mean sometimes when i do tutorials like now i feel like i'm going at 100 miles an hour because i want to fit everything <laughs> in um but like it shouldn't really like you don't want it to take too long people always say and i like i'm a mom i'm a mother of five a uh, five-year-old um, she might show herself up in a second and um, uh, show, show herself in a minute. But um, mums, a lot of mums will follow me and they'll be like, I just want to do a makeup look that's not going to take too long. Um, so I like to kind of like show, you know, my followers like that as well. Um, golden light. I'm literally just going to take a little bit of golden light and I'm just going to tap it to like the middle now, the middle section of the eye. So like when you close your eye, you're going to get even more of like a pop of highlight. And this is going back to all the layering that you do. You, I, that's what I love about the way you do makeup is just how you like layer slowly and it just creates the most flawless, beautiful looks. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but I also like to go in, I also like to go in like, I'll kind of like keep going back to certain areas. Um, if I like need to like, you know, if I want to kind of add more or give a little bit more dimension, um, Someone was just asking about, do you have any tips for uh, doing eyeshadow on hooded eyes? Oh, I get that. Asked, I get asked that quite a lot. The other day I did actually. Um, yeah, you want to basically, something actually like maple would be a really, depending on your skin tone, would be a really good um, color to kind of like play around with and, um, uh, and try out. You really want to kind of um, take almost like even the smudging brush, the smaller one, and you don't want to create like a harsh line but you want to kind of create the illusion of if you, if that's what you want, if you're looking for more depth, uh, some people are talking about specifically the outer edges and like eyeliners and stuff. And therefore those ones, I would almost like, I say to like cheat it a few mil in, um, out like as opposed to like starting the color on the very outer edge. Cause you're going to, you're going to draw attention to that, like the bottom bit that's like a little bit more droopy. Um, yeah. so you want to create the illusion of lift and height. So on the outer edges, I'd, I'd put it in a few millimeters um, with liner or even the shadow. And then to create a socket, you want to use like a smaller, this smudging brush would be great. And then just create kind of like that arch, like a fine sort of like arch. So you're almost like creating an illusion of a line here. Do you see what I mean? Like you see my line here. Yes. And a lot of people are asking if, if they're just joining now, this is, uh, we're using our Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. So that is what Emma is using on her eyes right now. Okay, before I go in with mascara, I always like to do brow. So I've done this brow here and I've literally just used the soft brown. Sometimes depending again, if I go in with even more, like say if I add lashes to this look and like a liner and stuff like that, um, I'll pencil in, like you can see my brows here, like I would go in with a little bit of the deep brown. Um, I think this one's the deep, uh, the, yeah, the deep brown. I'd go in with the deep brown just to kind of like, and then at the edges, just to kind of really give it that pop. Um, uh, but, and I like to kind of like, with the pencils, really, really light, fine strokes to kind of like create 
like little kind of lines. So you're just creating hairline strokes. I love that you use two colors. That's so extra. I love that. You see this? Like, so this is like one yes. line here, one line here. But you do it very, very lightly because you want to keep the you want to keep the, the sharpness of the pencil. So pretty. And then always use like use this end. Like a lot of people don't like kind of use that end. Brush up your brows. I have to, otherwise my eyebrows just go down. So I love that the eyebrow trend right now is really fluffy brows, and you can really use that spoolie to fluff your brows up on the end of and that's our chocolate eyebrow pencil, our chocolate brownie. Yeah, this one's chocolate. And I it actually it. smells like chocolate. <laughs> Have you smelled it? All your stuff, I could eat it. It's I so literally, fun. I literally could eat it. That's actually, I think fun. I remember you telling me a time when you were like, "Yeah, that one tastes really good as well." I'm like, it "Tastes really good." <laughs> you can't help but get it in your mouth sometimes, and it actually like tastes good. I was talking, I was talking to Emma about our peach setting powder and how sometimes it gets in my mouth and I'm like it tastes like peach sugar it's and or my husband will give me a kiss and he's like you actually taste like sugar I'm like that's just me it's natural <laughs> yeah I just taste like that all the time yeah totally natural <laughs> that's pretty I love this and then are you a big believer do you use setting sprays after or do you just use before like do you ever use our hangover after to set or do you just leave it as is no, a hundred percent. I use the I use the um uh, the hangover on this side um uh before as um before, but also after. And I'll kind of like take this like generally, obviously it's in my kit anyway. But like during the day, like I'll you know to just like freshen up um, and bring that sort of like the dewiness back to the skin. I'll take it with me during the day as well. And like obviously it's in my kit during the day if I'm on shoots and stuff. So like you can continuously like keep spritz in the face. Yeah. Um, and and also as well, the sun shining on her face, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> What's that? Someone just said Emma's got the sun shining on her face, and I'm in love with it. It really does look like you just gave yourself the most beautiful, like sunshiny glow. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Let me like so. I'm, I'm going to show you how to take this. So I spritz this. I'm going to do this now because I'm not sure in terms of how much time we got left. But I'm just going to okay. also use the mascara, the best than sex. I always have the waterproof one in my kit. Um, always using the waterproof one for um for for work because um with jobs and for longevity and things like that. Um, uh, hold on two seconds. I'm doing things all back to front now. Great trying to fit in. I'm spritzing the brush with this and then I'm using the glow so it's the glow from okay. the turn up light medium palette Ooh. hold on needs a bit more water Ooh, so pretty it, do you know what as well I love the fact how cooling this spray feels now, when I do the highlighter as well, I love when you smile. As a con contrary to like, you know, people just like putting it just up here. I'm all about like, seriously, if I could just like smudge my face. <laughs> like literally, I love putting the highlighter when you smile like on top of the of the apple of the cheek. So you get that real, like when you smile, I you get that bounce. That. And then I'll take it all around here. So you're spritzing. And remember, guys, I don't think you would have seen. I've not even, like, done any, like, setting powders. Like, I love that your translucent ethereal setting powder. Um, but at the moment, I've not. So, like, I love it on this, like, sense of the, um, of the middle of the forehead, like, on the temples. And then around here. That is so beautiful. Yeah, you just glow like no other. And I love that you make it stay all day. It's like, but what I think the biggest takeaway for you is like when you're building these looks is you're not using powder, you're doing light layers and you're really building. Yes, it's kind of like, like the many, the many layers, like I'll continuously go in and like my clients know me as well. Like I'll continuously be going in and buffing areas like near the end. I generally like it will do sort of like the T-zone area again. Um, now I'm just going to add a little bit of it to the brow bone. Um, but like, I'll always just like keep going in and buffing and like layering, um, like the product. Someone just asked, should you apply highlighter after or before setting your face? 
So if you're just tuning in, Emma doesn't set her face. It is this amazing, like gorgeous glow that she gets by layering liquid layers and then powders on top. And then the powder blushes and highlighters she uses tend to set in the areas that she wants. And then you can just take, for instance, the soft focus, if you're like more pale, um, and also under the eye, the soft focus, this, I'm obviously curling my lash right here, but the, the, sen the center diffused powder in the Turn Up Your Light palette, which is the soft focus, it's called soft focus. That is actually really pretty under, under the eye area here. So it gives like a little bit of like a, a shimmery, like not, I, want, I don't wanna say highlight, but a diffused highlight. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, your, like filtered effect. Yeah, 100%. The tan one. Love. If you feel like you really want to set your face, like this diffused one, this, again, it's like the soft, the same name as like the soft focus. Um, it really, it basically gives a soft focus. That's kind of like what, what it does. Um, this is the obviously better than sex <laughs> mascara. And I love, I think that that's such a great tip for makeup artists out there. Like Emma only uses waterproof because she wants her clients to really have that longevity. She doesn't know what they're going to do when they, once they leave her, you know, so you want to make sure that it stays. And oh, uh, yeah, a hundred percent waterproof all day long. Um, and then I'm going to show you like a little trick um, to, uh, to do the bottom lashes. I use a small fan brush. And I like to kind of get into the real root of the lash. And, and because of, again, because clients and people, this is my own personal mas mascara, basically, guys. So don't worry about me, like, <laughs> I know. dipping. Especially in this crazy time, right? Can you imagine? Um, so basically, with the lower mascara, people ask me a lot of the time about fallout. And what do I, what can I do? Or how do I do uh, my mascara without it smudging or falling onto the lower lash, lower skin? Uh, under the eyes and basically I love to I love the trick of just really smudging um, the mascara into the lower lash line and into the roots of the lashes so on here I've hardly got any mascara on the bottom of my lashes so then you use it kind of like an eyeliner on the lower lashes is that what you're saying yeah I'm going to show you now so with the same brush you've like not got like tons of um, product on here I'll get like a small fan brush or actually you can just use the quarter uh, the brush of you can just use this angle brush here oh okay I've never done that before I love this so the angle brush here and literally I'm just going to get up close and personal guys here now literally tap it on to the root of the lash So you're kind of like creating a bit of a liner. I love this tip. Take, take your pinky finger and like smudge it along the end of the lashes for making sure there's nothing kind of like on there. Because sometimes a little bit will get on there. And then like, I always like then go in again. Like I'll go in again and press it right in the roots. I always learn something every single time I do makeup with you. I've never done this before. I love this idea. And then also as well, like some people like kind of like with the lower lashes, with doing it like this way as well, people sometimes a bit kind of afraid to kind of go in with brushes, like on the lower, they're like, how do I, you know, I always end up getting it even on application, I get it on my lower skin. So on the, uh, under my eye. Um, so basically I just, I just do that. And then I smudge with my pinky finger just to make sure none is like right on the end. And I... And depending on like the intensity, like for, you know, if you really go like, go, like for a really sort of full on glamorous look, like I'll probably do like that a couple of like times to really yeah. like make that under eye like pop. I love it so much. Well, we need to wrap it up because we've taken up so much of your time, but I, I hope that everybody's learned so many amazing trip tricks. Is there anything else you want to leave us with that you really love? Like, you're all about a glossy, glossy I'm now lip. going on. I'm now going in with a glossy lip. This is the, yeah. um, this is the you up. I love the you up. Especially when you put your cell phone light on it. You see how sparkly it is under the lights. So and pretty. then also, yeah, just make sure you shake these really well. 
and then just give your face a really good spritz at the end but keeping it more so on the sides that's why i would say like a little finishing thing would be like on the sides of the face as opposed to doing it too much in the middle like just one or two and then like <laughs> on the sides three or four Oh my gosh, look at the glow. And then, on do, your skin. and then make sure you hit this area as well. Especially if you've got, like, you know, you see? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, guys, I could carry on doing makeup all day now. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm done. <laughs> well, Emma, thank you so much. You guys, go follow Emma if you're not following Emma Willis Makeup. She is so incredible. As you can see by all the tricks that she's just taught us. Um, thank you so much. We hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. We love you. Thank you for being part of our Two-Faced family. And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Han. Love you. Love you oh, lots. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye.